Okay, so this is a short video just demonstrating my final year project, wireless tra power transfer for electric vehicles. So what I'm showing here is the output waveform from the primary side of my uh, wireless power transfer system. So this is the output power on the resonance circuit. We're using resonant circuit, uh, inductively coupled resonance circuits. So that there, you can see that there's an RMS voltage for that. 8.8 8 volts or thereabouts and um, that's being caused by a driver circuit here so this is a pair of uh, half bridge drivers and that's the signals that drive that are from here this is the function generator which is present uh, which is uh, uh, driving that circuit with a uh, paired 55 kilohertz signals there uh, out of sync by 180 degrees to get that uh, resonance circuit um, driven properly. Um, the resonance circuit is around about 55 kilohertz. So you can see the delay is half the period between the two. So that's driving this driver here, which is connected to the H bridge. So that drives the H bridge switches, conventional H bridge type arrangement. And then here, this is the capacitor which forms part of the wider inductively coupled circuit. So that there is the inductor on the primary side. And that's the series capacitor and with that the paired inductor and capacitor, the inductor has an inductance of 3.83 microhenries and the capacitor has a uh, an inductive uh, capacitance of 2.2 microfarads that forms the 55 kilohertz resonant frequency. So that's a series arrangement. And on the secondary, this is over a approximately five centimeter gap here. On the secondary side, we've got another inductor, same inductance as the primary, 3.83 microhenries, and again a 2.2 microfarad capacitor. So that that's the, this is the wireless element here. So it's an inductively coupled resonance circuit, a pair of resonance circuits. And then this goes down to secondary. That there is a rectifier and a smoothing capacitor. So we've got a DC output. And here I'm demonstrating not by charging an electric vehicle. Obviously the size is not possible, but by powering a, a lamp. It's an LED lamp here. So it's not consuming much power. The um, other, testing device that I've used during this project has been this, this resistor here which I can vary the resistance of. Um, it's able to take the larger powers, the uh, large powers that um, resistive powers that, you know, that the a project needs to simulate for charging a battery. So here's a brief demonstration of the load, system loaded up with a 5 ohm load. So that's the connection there to this resistor, 5 ohm resistor, current probe there. So this is just the measurements. I'm taking the output measurements here. That's the output wave. The green is the current and the yellow is the voltage. So you can see that we've got a 6.45 volt RMS signal voltage at 1.2 amps. So, and then that's being the result of a 12.25 voltage input. And then the sum of those two currents, because it's parallel, parallel sources, it's about 3.7 amps. So that gives you an indication of the input to output power ratio. 12 by 3.7 so 36, 40 watts. And on the output we're getting around about 6. So about 20% efficiency. Thereabouts.